times have you used somebody else's studio and had to pay them for it? So the average price to rent out a studio is anywhere from 20 to 200 dollars, right? Depending on where you're at and depending on what they offer or whatever. Either way, what I'm getting at is that money that you spend each time you go, that adds up. That money that you spent on somebody else's studio, you could have spent that on yourself and put that money into your own studio. Right? Am I, am I making sense? So, let's say you spent a total of $200 already in renting the studio over time. And you still have to go back to that studio. You have to make sure that they're open. You have to make sure that they're not booked. You have to make sure that they're, you know, not having problems, you know, power went out, whatever, anything. I, who, who knows? Anything can happen. But when you have your own studio, you control all of this. So why not take that money that you're spending on somebody else's and spend it on yourself? You can spend $200 and get your own studio. Just like I did. Just, just, just like this. You can do it, I promise you. And I'm gonna tell you how, all right? Number one, this paper right here, this paper was 80 bucks, okay? Now, this paper is gonna last you a long time, okay? A long time. I'm on the last thread for this because I was cutting them off and thumbtacking them on the wall. That's why it's like this. So when I moved in here, I no longer had to cut it or thumbtack it. By the time I got here, I was already on the last little strip because I was cutting so much off constantly. And over time, I ended up using it. But even then, I had it for almost a year. Now, the white above it, I've had for over a year and a half, and I only cut it off once. I got that once I moved here too. So, I'm fine. These, these, these are fine. You know what I'm saying? And even if it has like little spots on the ground or something, you can Photoshop that out. One click. So that's 80. Now your wall mount for your background, that's gonna cost you 60 bucks, okay? And you're gonna be able to get three rolls of papers up there, three rolls, okay? And it's gonna have a little chain that you can roll up and let down each time. And that's way easier than what I was doing, having to thumbtack and unthumb tack it and make sure I roll it up without wrinkling it. This is gonna do it for you when you just pull it. You know, you just pull it, it rolls up, it sits, it sits there. Easy, okay? Now, next will be your lights. Really, you can get away with two lights. I did it and I did it starting out. I no longer use them, but when I was using them, I still got good results. Right now, I'm using two aperture lights, one here and one there but I still have those lights that I started out with. I got them from Amazon, okay? I paid 60 bucks for them, 60, that's, that's it. Now, you put one on your left side, one on your right side, just like I did here, and boom, you got yourself a studio, or however, however you wanna put them, you wanna hang them up like I did. I, I hung one from my ceiling, literally hung one from the ceiling and placed one on the left side. These are $60 lights and still got good results. You don't have to spend a lot of money to make your room a studio. You don't have to do it. You can get by with cheaper stuff, okay? Those three things are gonna turn your room into a studio. Lights, background paper, and the wall mount for the background. That's gonna make it a lot more easy to pull up and whatever you want to do with it. This is big because that saved me money. Like I said, I don't, I didn't have to go to other people and bother other people say, hey, can I use the studio? Or check and see if they're booked or if they're open. If I had a last minute client say, hey, I'd like to take pictures today. If, do you have any availability and I'd like it to be indoor? Uh, let me call and see if I can get the studio today. You don't have to do that when you have your own studio in your house. Turning your, one of your rooms inside your house into a studio is one of the most beneficial things ever, okay? Take that money that you're gonna spend and invest in somebody else, take it and invest it in yourself. And I promise you, you're not gonna regret it. That studio is always gonna be there for you to just literally get up, walk across the house, come in, take pictures of whatever, and just play around, and you can get even better with photography. 
and you have you have control of whatever you want to do. If you want to let somebody come in and use your studio, you can. If you want to charge them, you can. It's your studio. Two hundred dollars will give you control of what you want and what you do. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope this wasn't too. Sound like I'm fussing or anything, but yeah, I, I just really want you guys to start investing in yourselves and stop spending so much money in other places when you can really just turn your own into whatever you want to. Your room doesn't have to be big. They have, like I said, they have smaller papers for this and just use it, do it. Wish you guys the best. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe if you like this video. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Till next time, I'm out. Your own studio, man, you can do it.